How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today we have a uh, Irish video. Let's put it that way. Today we're going to be talking about, I'm just going to make it like a short little video. A video on um, can Republic of Ireland realistically win or even compete in the Euros. Do you know what? Let's get into it. Right, so firstly before we can talk about Ireland, we have to show you the lineup. You can see it on the screen somewhere there. Our team to most people, for example the Swedish uh, like press and national like news and all that stuff think our only dangerous player and um, player that can cause like any havoc is a uh, Shane Long Now I would tend to agree with that looking at this team I don't see many game changers although I would say Wes Houlihan is crucial for this team if we play like we usually play which is a very narrow 4-1-2-1-2 formation and um, with the two center mids a cam and a CDM and the two strikers up top I think Wes Houlihan is pivotal like he has to be the player that gets the ball the most so he can make them little passes into uh, Shane Long and probably Robbie Keane or if uh, he isn't playing then it's probably going to be Darren Murphy or something like that but he has to be in the team so I would actually argue that while Shane Long yes he's probably our most dangerous player Wes Houlihan can also be equally as dangerous now the rest of the team isn't fantastic we have maybe one or two shining lights uh, our two fullbacks in Robbie Brady and James Coleman. Our midfield is very defensive, apart from Wes Houlihan. Obviously, you got James McCarthy, Glenn Whelan, and also uh, Jeff Hendricks. Maybe uh, you know David Myler or whoever else gets brought in. Really, um, Jeff Hendricks is a bit attacking, to be fair. But James McCarthy and Glenn Whelan are very, very defensive players. Uh, like Glenn Whelan will actually drop behind the centre backs sometimes. Um, James McCarthy is known for his uh, defensive work. Jeff Hendricks, however, is a bit more attacking, so I, I will give him that. So the centre-backs then, in my opinion, it's got to be a rotation of, well, three players, maybe four. If Shane Duffy can uh, impress Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane before uh, our match on Monday, I think he might actually get the chance to start, but I don't think he will. It'll, it's, it, it's between John O'Shea, Richard Kyo, and Kieran Clark. I don't feel safe completely with uh, two of them people. I think Richard Kyo is our best centre-back. I really, really do. John O'Shea plays fantastically. For the national team he's not a great like the uh, center back anymore but he still plays great for us and um, but you can't count on that like being like like a viable option for our defense you have to be solid so i think richard kyo and um, and kieran clark slash maybe shane duffy if shane duffy once again can impress i th i think he's a really good center back shane duffy in my opinion our fullbacks are fine goalkeeper situation shay given darren randolph and kieran westwood i think I had an argument with my mate uh, between Randolph and uh, Shea Given. I was thinking more towards Shea Given getting uh, the, the start because of his experience, because of his the fact that he's been playing in the Premier League. While Darren Randolph has been doing that, he hasn't had as many games as Shea Given has. I then realised that I think probably Darren Randolph should start because he was the goalkeeper for most of the qualifying campaign and he was in our he was in net for the most important game of our of our whole qualifying when we beat Germany 1-0 I think Darren Randolph is going to be the one that starts yeah I just hope that our team is the de like defensively solid because we're going to need it we got Ibra coming up in the first game and then the next game I can't remember whether it's Belgium or Italy we've got Hazard, De Bruyne, Lukaku, Benteke although he's shit for Liverpool he's not that bad for Belgium um, and then Italy is even worse because they're defensive but they've also got great attackers we're in a really shit group in the fact that we are probably the worst team in it and people have to realize that we are not as good as Sweden in my opinion I don't think we are even take Ibra out of the equation I think Sweden's players are better than Ireland's pound for pound if that makes any sense maybe our fullbacks are our best option them and Shane Long but I think everyone everywhere else on the pitch maybe uh, you know Wes Hulan I don't think we're as good as the Swedes now as opposed to can we win the Euros Anyone can win the Euros. Technically, anyone can. Like Albania, we I've, I just finished watching that game against Switzerland. They did really well. Uh, they were defensive. Um, they they still lost, obviously, but they could win the Euros. You know, Wales could win the Euros. It's all about what happens on the day. But if you're going to look at it on paper, Ireland won't win the Euros. There's no way. We won't even reach reach the quarterfinals. I don't even think we'll get out of the group. And that's the honest opinion. I love Ireland and I support them more than any team I follow. Like, the Irish team is my team. I will follow them to the end of the earth. I don't care if we're shit or if we're brilliant. I'll still follow them, man. They are my heart and soul. And the fact that I'm thinking we're not going to get out, out of the group is 
a shame. It really is. Because we don't, I don't think we have the players to compete. And it's such a shame. It really is. But nonetheless, I think the best we can hope for is to hope that we finish third and we get um, one of them like qualifications into the next round because we finished third or something like that. I think that's how it works anyways. So I hope that's how we can get through. I don't see us getting points against Italy. I can see us maybe getting a point from the Belgium game. And I can see us winning the Sweden game. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't think we're not going to win the Sweden game. I think the Sweden game will be a draw. But I really hope we can win. Pretty much I'm an optimist. Um, I'm a pessimist in the fact that I don't think we're going to win. But I'm, a, I'm an optimist in the fact that I really fucking do want us to win. Um, if we beat Germany, guys, you have to remember we beat Germany. And the Germans are the world champions. Like, they're the technically the best team in the world um and we beat them one nil yes we were hammered the whole game we still got a lucky break and scored but we beat them and if we can do that against italy belgium sweden we'll be fine anyways guys i'll see you next time um i'll probably have a round i'll have a, probably have a video about the ireland match after the sweden game um on monday so i think i'll release that video on tuesday depending what on what happens on that match uh, well i'll make a video on it anyway so i really am invested in the euros already here is an irish fan really really praying to god that we can beat sweden because i think that's our best chance of um three points right there i'll see you next time guys have a wonderful day if you want to see more videos talking about the euros and stuff like that uh leave a like on this video comment down below what you think um the republic of ireland are going to do in uh group e i think or group d i can't remember which one we're in doesn't matter uh thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time have a wonderful day goodbye